gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. We got some recently released trailers. We got the official teaser for Thunderbolts. We got the trailer for the John Wick spinoff series, Ballerina. We also got a trailer for uh, Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan Sinners. And we got um, the trailer, the first trailer for Last of Us Season 2. So, what are you guys' thoughts? Hmm. The Thunderbolts, the Thunderbolts trailer actually looked pretty all right. I like I like the fact that it seems to me that Yelena is looking for her purpose now that you know her her um best friend uh sister is pretty much gone so she's trying to refine her purpose in life and pretty much goes on this whole Thunderbolts journey. It seems like it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be lit. It's huh. it's going to be lit. Like the trailer, I I watched the leak from D23, but then I, now that I can see it with like better quality and sound and stuff like that. Yeah. Thunderbolts, I think Thunderbolts is going to be lit. That is my number one anticipated movie for 2025. I think Thunderbolts is going to go stupid. If they are mm-hmm. deeming this Mar- Marvel Suicide Squad, I think this is going to go stupid. Yeah. Can y'all remind me who the people change. are? So, you wouldn't know who Yelena is because you didn't watch Black Widow or Hawkeye, yeah. but Yelena is... Okay. Yelena is Black Widow's younger sister. Yeah. And and she's been doing like contract kills and things like shadow ops and stuff like that. That's been her gig. Uh US Agent was supposed to be the Captain America replacement and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was the whole conflict between him and Sam. And he ended up taking the super serum, but he just went like batshit crazy with it. And they ba- basically they canceled him. Okay. So that's where he's at. Um, you already know about Bucky. Yeah. Ghost, if you remember, is from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Also, Contract Killer. She got her powers from working on some some experiment that went wrong. And that's what got yeah. her her phasing powers. Taskmaster is also from the Black Widow yeah. franchise. She, um, back a little bit back, Baxter on that. She got injured during a plot that Black Widow did for her to basically separate herself from the Red Room. Okay. Um, Sentry is new. He this is this will be his first time coming inside of the MCU, but he's basically like Superman. Hmm. He's okay. a power. He's a powerhouse, bulletproof powerhouse, stuff like that. And then Red Guardian is also from the Black Widow franchise. He, um. I they're not their real dad. Like in the trailer, you hear Yelena calling him dad. That's not their real dad. Yeah. But when they first met, they were posing as a family, but they were really sent in to steal information from Shield. But she was so okay. young; she was like three when the whole operation started that she only knows him as dad, even though they're not blood related. That makes okay. Sense. And he was also a Captain America clone for like um like how Bucky was how they kidnapped Bucky and injected him with the super soldier serum he was the same way Mm, just without the mind control stuff okay Okay. because I was watching it and I was like it does look cool I just didn't know who the people were. I was like, I see Bucky. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like, I know I'm missing. I was, I was like, I know I'm missing something that all other people of them are probably has, excited about. All of about. them has done shady stuff. So these are not yeah. like... Hero heroes. These are not hero heroes. Anti, anti-heroes at best. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ballerina looked interesting. Um, I know, Ryan, you, got, you probably have a lot more to say than I do about Ballerina. I don't want to be spicy with ballerina. I'm gonna say this. Not it spicy. Looks, <laughs> Cause it looks good enough to where I will watch it as a fan of John Wick. It's just the decision making for the main character, because essentially she's going to be a surrogate into the series, and it seems like she's following the same story as John Wick in terms of how he started. He came mm-hmm. with an orphan. Most of the people who come under the table are orphans. Kids just taken in to become assassins. 
and she joined the same family of old girl who has the ballerinas and the wrestlers, which we saw in the third movie or the fourth movie when he got that tag added, when he got his tag pulled and she had a tatum on the back. And I was interested in why they chose her instead of just doing like a John Wick origin story, because I would have loved to see him become the Baba Yaga before he found his wife and fell in love and the dog and what we now see in the four movie sagas. Mm -hmm. I would have been interested to see that more so than her, but I'm not mad at it. I'm also surprised that they went with a new character, being that the movies do have a lot of interest in side characters. When you look at Common, the character he played in John Wick 1, mm -hmm. when you look at Akira, who was the daughter of his homeboy in Chapter 4 and how she's going to hunt down his other friend who's blind, I'm like, we could have. I thought we could have seen a story about her if That's she's not going to show up in Chapter 5. I would have minded that. Or, or the black guy who we see in, Ch in John Wick Chapter 4 who is in his oh, early phases and the fast. yeah. And that would have been has, called too. Yeah, like he's just now figuring out, like, oh, this is what it means. Like, I'm thinking I'm I'm hot shit and I'm trying to hunt down the Bobby Yaga. And it's like, bro, you just got your hand slit. You don't even know how these contracts and when given your prints and all this stuff even come from. So it's not that I'm mad at it. I'm just like You don't know where the influence is coming from. Yeah, and it makes me wonder, like, is this gonna be blind? Like maybe y'all just wanted to tell a new story and introduce a new character. But I'm like, if you want to expand the John Wick universe, there are already characters that someone like me as a fan already has an affinity for. I would have loved to see an Akira. If this series was about her hunting down John Wick's homeboy who was blind, oh my gosh, that would have ate. That would have ate. Like you got me hooked. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to see if Common mm -hmm. survived from when John Wick put that knife through his abdomen and was like, if you're moving, you're gonna die. You better go to a hospital. And he just sat there. Like, or just his origin story. And they are featuring him in it. They showed him at the end. I don't know how relevant he's going to be because for the fact that they're throwing him in there, he's pretty much going to immediately overshadow her as a character I think just because they, of how beloved he is. I think they threw him in there so people can watch the series. That too. Probably. That's, he might I, only show up for a few seconds. He, he probably might show up for a couple seconds and dip. Mm -hmm. but they put him in the trailer be like oh John Wick's gonna be in there I'm gonna definitely check that out that's what that's what it gave to me yeah, yeah which which makes me think like are y'all if y'all was confident in this series being in the John Wick universe I think y'all could have avoided using John Wick which makes me question how good it's gonna be and I'm gonna watch it it looks like it has potential the fight choreography is there baby girl definitely seemed like oh, she yeah. went through a fight she training. got her business now that, that yeah. action the action scenes that they did show, oh, she's about yeah. her business. When she threw that bomb on Buddy and closed the and door closed and the stood door. behind it, yeah. I was like, yeah. that was excellent. That was excellent. We're also finna get some more history. We're seeing um Watson, Winston, whatever the old dude, the old Italian dude over the um, continental name is, and how he's the one who adopted her and mm -hmm. brought her into the table. I'm interested to see how that plays out, if they're going to expand the universe and show us how more of this works. But... I'm just confused as to why y'all picked a new character. I'm Maybe. just a little confused about that. I would agree with that. And it could possibly be that um, maybe they did want to show like the process of coming to the table and building up to that assassin life. And maybe they just decided to go use a new character to tell that progress instead of doing here's mm -hmm. pre-dog John Wick. All right. And look. And if that's the case, I'm not mad at it. Shoot. If they wanted to go a DC route and do um like how they did the Penguin series, they could have followed the um what's the dude? The Baron, the black guy. I forgot the actor the actor's real Talking name. About but Lawrence, he, Lawrence Fishburne character? Yeah. They could have followed his storyline and how he works with these poor folks in his upbringing. Like there's so many side characters but in I the mainline also, franchise. And this I'm is surprised not they ain't doing. And this is not the shit on the studio, but I believe this series is supposed to be on Peacock. And how much money do they actually have for, like, actors like Lawrence Fishburne and the characters that are in the movies? Like, budget, like budgeting can be a factor, too. And this is no, like, mm, this is not yeah. shitting on Peacock, but you also have to think of, like, budget and how much money they have. Like, I'm sure to get Keanu Reeves to even... Show the up. price it, is up for Keanu now. That that's what I'm saying. So like, I like I don't know how much money that studio actually had to put into this series to where they couldn't have those high profile actors from the movie in here. They had to take what was necessary, like Winston, 
I'm sure uh, RIP to Lance Reddick, but I'm pretty sure if he was still living, they probably would have included him in the show too. Yeah. 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 And you know what? It's just interesting. It's interesting. Like, I'm going to check it out. Well, shoot. If it's on Peacock, how much is a Peacock subscription? I think it's like $5 for the basic. Somewhere between 5 and $7 for the basic. Don't let me commit myself to something. I might check it out if it's since it's on Peacock and not like a mainline thing that I already have, like Hulu or something like that. But... I'm I'm mid. When it comes to my interest, I'm in the middle. The trailer looked good. I'm just surprised at some of y'all's decision making. If y'all said this was in combination with Max and you're following like John Wick coming up or Kira or the black guy with the sniper or Common or Lawrence or any other character, I would have definitely been sold as a John Wick fan. This did, didn't sell me. It tempted me. Did I say this was a series? Because now that I I'm thought, looking yeah. now that I'm looking this up, they said this is supposed to be a film. The Ballerina's a film, not a series? Yeah, I'm looking it up. I searched Ballerina John Wick. They're saying that this is a film. That makes me question it even more. Like, why? Oh, they said Lance Reddick is in the series. Yeah, they showed him in the trailer. I forgot to correct you on that. So this was probably recorded way before he passed away or halfway through his passing. I don't remember party. seeing him in that. Maybe I wasn't looking close enough. He was standing at the Continental when she came in the trailer. She walked up to him and he was like, welcome to the Continental. And she oh, is that when she put the coin down? Yes. Okay. I remember her putting the coin down, but I didn't remember who she was talking to because they showed Winston right after and I was like, oh, she must have been talking to Winston. Yeah. But. Oh, this is going to be in theaters. Where did I get Peacock from? A food. Come on. Now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Now you're confusing me because I... <laughs> all right. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. Final, final. We are correcting ourselves. Final details. Ballerina is a movie, not a series. This is going to be in theaters, not on Peacock. Not sure where I got Peacock from. And it's coming out June 6th, June 2025. June 6th, 2025. Okay. I... I I just now that I know it's a film, honestly, I hate to say it, it makes me a little less excited. I thought it was mm. a series. I sincerely thought this was a series. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of. I don't know, cause cause now everything I said earlier is even more like has more oomph behind it. Like, why didn't y'all just do a prequel and show John going growing up under the table? Uh, any of the other side characters, I, I'm still hyping. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna still stand beside that it's still probably budget, whatever amount of money they had to make this movie. I'm still going to tie it down to budget, but not from the sense I take it back that the Peacock stuff. I thought it was a series, it's a movie. The actress, the main actress, Ana de Ar- Ana de Aramas. It seems like she was in No Time to Die, Knives Out, Blade Runner, Ghost. That's where I remember her from. Mm. Knives Out. I was like, she looks familiar. Yeah. So she's she looked like the director is Lynn w- Wiseman. Did he direct the other John Wick movies? What did he direct? I don't know. I I he directed Underworld. I love the Underworld series. Seems like all of them. I love the Underworld movie saga. saga. But that's about it. That's the only major films he's directed. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I maybe this is something we have to wait and see what like everybody else says about it. Make sure he's not one of those. This is not one of those. Are we in theaters for two weeks and then we on digital on the third? Yeah, it's so confusing now. Ah, oh, that that. Mm. Mm. As a fan, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. I'm gonna do uh, another John Wick <laughs> marathon. I would have done that. I don't know what the the thought behind it was, but. The other two trailers, um, Sinners and The Last of Us Season 2. Sinners seems interesting. I don't know if I would go to the theaters to watch it. Um, But it's supposed to be where Michael B. Jordan is playing twin brothers, and one of them is supposed to be a vampire. Mm -hmm. And then this is supposed to be set back, and I won't. I'm not sure what the time period is, but there yeah. we basically we do have like the the racism deal going on. I I just can't remember what year they're in, but it's supposed to be a vampire movie. That I know for sure. 
And this is the film that Ryan Kugel is over, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go check I, it out. I'll check it out. I'm typically, even though I never watch any of the Creed, I'm typically a fan of Michael B. Jordan's works when he's in them. Yeah. I like... I yeah. want to see the I want to see the reviews or I, or I would like to see another trailer because I only know it was a vampire movie from when they first started talking about it. But then when I watched the trailer, I didn't see any vampires and I was like, OK, the, the horror aspects are there. But I was right. like, isn't this supposed to be a vampire movie? And then where his brother at? And I'll and I'll give it this. We haven't seen a good vampire werewolf style movie in a minute. It's in terms of series no, like they had their haven't. phase in the early 2000s and 2010s we ain't seen many good ones in a minute yeah and if it's and if it's black vampires i would love to see ryan coogler's take on like black supernatural and monsters and stuff like that yeah that's i guess that's more so why i'm interested in going to go see it is to see if they, he can actually get that horror aspect across mm-hmm yeah, cause and you said you couldn't tell what time period. Like, if racism's playing into a Jim Crow era, is it in the it, Do we see. know the setting? Is it in the South, like Louisiana type stuff? It didn't. Ha- it didn't look too much like a setting. It did look more, more. It did look so nineteen thirties. It is in the South. Ralph yeah. is correct. It's in the South. South nineteen thirties. So this is even before. Yeah, this don't is mess up your history because they're gonna get mad at us. Yeah, I think yeah, they, I think this is post like Roaring Twenties or something. Okay, and we're gonna have vampires. Yeah, this is yeah. in Jim Crow. Jim Crow yeah. was from the nineteen eighties to nineteen sixties. I was going to say that, but like Ron said, I ain't want to be wrong. You said I, that's how I like you. I we, felt we, it. I we felt are the blurred I, mob, so maybe I, you get it exactly right. I <laughs> felt it. I was like, "That's the right answer." But the Google, Google is right here. Google's is what they be saying on Twitter. Google is free. <laughs> See, okay, if that's interesting, because because Lovecraft Country, I watched the. I think I watched like the last three episodes. Don't I forgot why? I think I said on the platform, but like it did like the whole fantasy. Jim Crow era black folks and how it incorporated yeah. them. So this might be a similar feel more than likely. You said what show you watched the last three episodes? Lovecraft of? Country. Was it Lovecraft Country the one with yeah. um Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said Last yeah. of Us and I was like, what are we talking uh-uh. about? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, oh I was like, oh he's switching to Last of Us. Then he started talking about Jim Crow and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, are we, what, are we, what are we what are we talking you about? Listen, but it, it, but yeah, love back. Lovecraft Lovecraft Country had the same type of like supernatural type vibe. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And if I want it, should I be divisive? Ralph's back. I'm gonna be divisive. I'm gonna be divisive. Oh God. We don't always gotta put black folks in, in, in Jim Crow era to put some magic around us too, y'all. We can do some black folks in just general fantasy. I just wanna remind y'all that Hollywood. Just wanted to remind y'all. I would save that statement. I don't disagree, but I would save that statement until the film actually comes out. Until it because comes if out. they yeah. because if they execute it well and it fits in the time period the way that like if we're talking about vampires and if we and if they go into their origins or where they came from and if it fits, then mm-hmm. then I wouldn't be mad. But if it's not executed well and it's just like, okay, you guys just pick this time period, just to, you know, black movie, black vampire movie, then I would say, then let's have that conversation. Yeah, but I'm also yeah. confident it's going to be at least decent. Like Ryan Coogler has proven mm-hmm. himself as a director. Michael B. Jordan is a very solidif- is a solidified actor. He is doing great. Like they have they have the tools and the resources to make something good. It's yeah. just as a vampire world fan who loved Underworld, who loved Twilight, I wouldn't mind if we just had some black folks in modern time or way 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 fantasy time. Like shoot, right. I... vampires. Vampires in Kenya might go hard. I don't know. I think this might, if if this goes well, if they pull this off, and I'm not saying that I have doubts that they don't, but if this goes, this com- go, comes out and this goes up, a lot of people are going to be side eye and Marvel with that Blade movie. A lot of people are going to be side eye and Marvel in that Blade comparison. movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. 
not even a comparison. There, the Blade movie, that Blade movie that they've been talking about for years has yet to start production. Yeah, it's getting point. Didn't it's they, getting to the point switch now. Directors again, or did the director switch leave? directors, writers? It's getting to the point now that they don't even know, know if that movie is going to get made, if it's even going to be in the slate. Like that's how bad it's getting. Is Ryan mm-hmm. Coogler directing another Marvel movie at the moment? They better call not, him up. Not at the. Oh, I no. I know they had talks about Black Panther three. Now they could be having him on the slate for that. But honestly, truly, if they pull this off, Kevin Feige, you might want to put him on the Blade movie. Y'all, y'all might want to get y'all, y'all Marvel get your money because if he do a good job with this, he's proven if himself he, already. Yeah. yeah. He he's proven himself already. But if but he, if, if this if, turns out too good, if they, y'all might want. <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of people are going to be sad because I was reading the comments of the trailer and it was like, ain't no way Ryan Coogler made a vampire movie and they Marvel didn't put him on Blade. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if it come out fire and, ooh. That's ooh, what I'm that's saying. That's going to be I'm rough. Saying, like I'm, saying a a lot, I'm, I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be side eyeing Marvel and it's not going to it's not going to be because it's a black vampire. It's going to be because y'all know what Ryan Coogler can do. He didn't yeah. brought y'all money to the box office. And it's black folks. And that, 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 that do count. That do count. That, <laughs> it does count, but I'm not, I'm saying yeah. that's not going to be the only thing. Yeah. 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 It's going to be that, you know, how this guy works, you know, that he can bring you to, to the money, to the box office. And if he pulls this off, there's going to be some side eyes. There are going to be some side eyes about mm. that Blade movie. Mm-hmm. That is a good hot take. Ooh. It, it, that's Because it, it, if it come out good, if it's at least a 7 out of 10, that's going to be tough on Marvel. If it's at Marvel's least an objective 7 out of 10. It really, it really just... Marvel will be on the clock if that movie does well. They Blade gonna have to be three years later so that they so that people can let the hype die down from this movie if it comes out. I would movie. be I it all goes into the execution. I would be interested to see what comes comes out of that in regards to Blade. If if I would be interested to see. Yeah. I just brought it up because when I was reading the comments, I saw a few comments about Blade. And I was like, that's a good point. That's an interesting point. That's a good point. That, that's a that was that's a an interesting point. point. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even mad at you on that. Oh, <laughs> oh, Ryan Coogler finna get in his bag though. How old is he? Oh, he rich. I, I, I think he's, I think he's pretty young. Yeah, like early thirties, young, or even he ain't in his twenties, right? He like thirties, young. I saw a picture of him. He ain't got no gray in his hair yet, so he got to be less than forty. He I is thirty-eight. Thirties. Oh, he's late thirties. Oh, yeah, he, late thirties. He making bank. Mm-hmm. He's gonna make bank. Yeah. <laughs> he rich. This is like a Michael B. Jordan and Ryan Coogler is that director actor combo. Mm. Yeah. Because we've seen another relationship like that. Was it like Michael Bay and somebody, or you know, I'm not good with names. I'm getting better. But... I don't think it was Michael Bay. I think it might have been Christopher Nolan and somebody. I th- yeah, it was somebody. But that's a, mm. he finna get some money. Yeah, I, I'm. Now that we've had this discussion, I'm definitely. I hope they release another trailer. I'm interested to see like the whole vampire concept. But if even if they don't release another trailer, the concept behind it, it being Ryan Coogler, is enough to like. I want to check this out, but I still want to see the reviews, though. I I still want to see the reviews. Okay. Hmm. But okay. um. Quick who's thing the, on last, touch? huh? Who's the production studio behind Sinners? I think it's Warner Brothers. I think okay. that's yeah. what I saw. Hmm. But you got it. You can switch to Last of Us. I'm, yeah, I'll it's Warner Brothers. Okay. It comes out March 7th, 2025. But I was just going to say my quick big bit on The Last of Us Season 2. I was reading the comments. A lot of people got some high hopes for this. Seems like some of the scenes they showed in the trailer reminds them of the video game. And I think that's the best thing you could hope for out of a video game adaptation. So Honestly, yeah. I need to go back and finish season one because I looked at the season two trailer and I was like, this looks like this shit finna get bad. 
So I was like, let me go ahead and get caught up with season one before this drop. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have nothing to say. Like some of the announcements that we've been getting, some of the projects that they have lined up, I've been like, okay, Netflix. Like, I wouldn't have thought of like a Devil May Cry animated series. Terminator Zero, I'll get to that at a later date. But like the way that they.